Okay, so I was still on my way to do the, the review and then this happened. Got stuck in this uh, mud here. So it's time to test the, the Indiflate and see what happens if I can get out of this mess. gonna move the steering wheel just need some grip there we go there we go man it's slippery there's a dead end in front so I need to turn around this is like a, a, a swamp and the water line is like just here so it's going to be interesting turning this this guy around now and then just get on a nice and sturdy spot to to go ahead with the with the review of the of the indie flight Fine. So I'm watching the, the edge of the swamp in the rear view camera just to make sure I don't go in there. What is the Indiflate? Well, the Indiflate is a tool that helps you to inflate and deflate two tires at once. So here it is, a bit muddy, but it worked. So, so what is the Indiflate? It's cut from aluminium, got this valve body. Then it goes through a, a military spec anodizing and it's got this combination gauge on here. It's got two three meter hoses with brass heads that clip onto your tire valve. And what this does is this actually inflates and deflates two tires at the, or two wheels at the same time. So this is perfect, perfect little tool for me. They even got a four valve system, but I took the two wheels because usually when I'm touring or when I'm, when I'm overlanding, my, my rear tires don't get deflated as much as my front ones because I'm loaded at the back. And um, so this is perfect for me. It's, it's much easier. You don't have to sit by each wheel to deflate or inflate. And you've got this little valve edge at the bottom. So you put on your compressor here, hook on the valves, put on your compressor, and then you can inflate your wheels. I've used it now I've bought this about November last year, used it in December on our, on our tour. Awesome little setup. If you go off-roading, overlanding, touring, 
get yourself one of these okay so why do we deflate our wheels first of all it's traction gives you better traction off-road and it gives you better ride comfort so the wife doesn't moan about the the shakiness of the of the road i always deflate wheels when i go off-road and i stop then just uh, deflate them it just helps a lot okay so guys so that's that's my view on the indeflate this is not a sponsored or whatever this this is something i bought something i wanted when i saw it i really wanted it and i wanted to give you guys just an overview of what it is and how how it's being used so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to head back through this muddy section again and then i'll show you guys when i what it looks like when i inflate the wheels on on this uh this bad boy so i'll see you guys on the other side Okay guys, so we're almost at the end of this little gravel road, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to inflate the, the wheels on the van. And uh, what I didn't show you is actually this awesome little bag that the inflate comes in as well. Proper little bag and it's not small enough, so only you struggle to get it in there. It's actually big enough so you can put in some extra stuff into the little bag they give you. So this is awesome. This stays right next to my compressor. Um, so I'm going to inflate now. So the, the vehicle is running because my compressor runs off the second battery and because of the compressor pulling almost 40 amps, uh, you need it running so you don't drain your, your, your battery that easily. So I keep it running, uh, it's running on charge, it's running on 13.4 volts now. So it is charging from the alternator. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll quickly hook up the, the two valves on, the, on each wheel, connect the compressor and then start inflating. So you basically just connect your compressor hose here at the back of the valve, make sure it's nice and tight and then we're just going to switch on the compressor. So what I've seen on this gauge here on the rear wheels, or all my wheels when I do normal road traveling, uh, 2.4 bar all around. So what I've seen here is I go about until 2.6 bar while it's on the compressor. When I switch off the compressor, it usually drops to 2.4 bar. So that's something to keep in mind if you get to something like this. Just go about 0.2 over your pressure that you want, usually drops down to exactly where you want. So this is where you can actually do something else, maybe open up the fridge, get a cool drink while you're busy inflating. Um, you don't have to sit by the wheel and check and check and check and check the whole time. Okay guys, so that's my uh, overview of the Indyflate system. Great little product, so if you want to get something or you're in the market to get something like this, please uh, look at them at uh, indyflate.co.za and if you've got any questions regarding the indyflate the hilux anything regarding overlanding and traveling down here in southern africa leave a comment down below let me know what you want to see and uh, we'll see what we can do how we can help you let's help each other in the overlanding community uh, sars did block me from going back to south africa now for 60 working days so i'll be in botswana for the next three months and maybe put together small videos like this that could help other people if they've got any questions regarding overlanding, traveling in Southern Africa, Botswana, South Africa. Um, let's see how we can help. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe the video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.